are MJ Road Tripping. M stands for Martin and J stands for Jacinda. We are from Singapore and we are now traveling in our van from Malaysia all the way to Europe. Portugal, right? Because uh, Portugal is uh, right at the end of Europe where we can travel by land. Toyota High Ace, 2 litre petrol, 2004. He has been serving us very well. Good car, no damages before we brought him. We brought him in Johor. We found him on Muda, the car selling platform itself, from a direct owner. It, yeah. it used to be a security van. So, yeah, apparently uh, Singaporeans can buy a Malaysian vehicle. I think for any foreigner can buy a Malaysian vehicle. Yeah, so it's registered under uh, my name. Right. Yes. Yeah, so Bruce cost us 30,000 ringgit and we spent another 10 to 14,000 in total to add on for the interior furnishing, for the solar panel, for the solar battery itself and yeah, I think that's about it. Oh no, wait. I used to be a freelance MC. Mm. So it's easy for me to pack up and go lah. For yeah. him, it's a bit harder. Mm. I was in a corporate environment, lah. so doing e-commerce, doing sales, commercial and all. We kind of like customize the front here so that it's a little bit like kampong style. Yeah. We actually big supporters of uh, sustainable living. Yep. You can see the materials that we pick are mostly natural. Like this is jute. J-U-T, jute. Yep. Yeah. And then this is rattan. And bamboo. then this is bamboo mat. It's like a picnic mat. You know, but we cut it up and then the floor, we also pick coconut fiber uh, floor mats. And the seats, very important because it's so rare nowadays. And we found this guy who still does linen uh, fabric for chairs. So we got it for really cheap because nobody wants linen anymore. Yeah. It's like their clearance match. And then even look look at this, the manual, yeah, the stick. I don't know what it's called uh, because I can't drive a manual van. <laughs> And I'm trying to learn, I'm gonna get him to teach me. Oh, just think. Yeah, so just in case, you know, if you can't drive, then I can do the driving. We have a stereo, a uh, USB can plug in. Yeah. Uh, we don't really use the plug in much. Uh, the radio doesn't really work well. Like. Very well, so we yeah. use like Spotify and. Uh, yeah. so, so we, we plug, can it, plug in. it in and play our music. Yeah, we just, usually we just leave from it here. here. All we did from the beginning was what? Uh? Oh, we top up the aircon air gas. Aircon gas. Yeah, yeah we it. were afraid that, hey, you know what? It's not working so well because in the beginning it was quite hot. And then the top of aircon gas, ooh! Yeah, it was best. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was the best decision ever. Oh, this is a battery pack. So it's an emergency battery pack. For us, a lot of our appliances, we try to power between 12 volts um, and some batteries, you know, all the rechargeable batteries that we got. When we were beginning, or when we just bought the van, and then we wanted to see how, you know, we can build our van. First. So we were doing a bit of research and then we found 24 hour travelers. Uh, and then we messaged them to ask them some information like, about van bill and like you know how they've done certain things. Advice. And then they've given us so much valuable advice. And we're so happy to finally meet them like one year later. And I wish them luck that they can uh, find temporary homes <laughs> for your pets. And they can also embark on the same travel uh, as we did, uh, hopefully together. They have two big dogs and two very cute cats. Uh, if anybody wants to, you know, pet sit, they're very lovable. I would love to lah. Yeah. But then we're traveling, so yeah. And then contact them. You know, take Please care. contact them. How we escape the rat race ah? We are 31 this year. I think we bite the bullet lah. So we, we save up for a couple of years. We decided that this is the life that we want to switch to. So yeah, I thought, you know, this can't be it. We can't just all, you know, study, you did, graduate, get married, buy a house and then retire. No life in between. I do have friends, you know, they believe life starts only after retirement. That's like, what, you're 65 and now they're raising, so 70, then you can live for now. There's no more life left, you almost... No, we thought, yeah, so let's do it while we're younger, you know. Actually, he didn't want to do it so young. So I 
kind of like everyday convince him and then like yum 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 and she planted a bug in me you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. What? what did family parents and friends say when you decided to up and go Xiao la <laughs> crazy are you mental kang ah no need work what are you gonna do with your life what what's next how long are you gonna do this for then you don't work already you gotta give up what you have now and then when you come back who's gonna hire you again he always tell his parents oh uh well so long and <laughs> <laughs> oh, i worked very long already 10 years so i want to take for a me break. to take a break <laughs> well, now, like, then my mom will roll her yeah, eyes like, what? you 10 years we worked how long already you <laughs> yeah. know for my parents they were okay because they already brought me on a camper van trips you know when we were younger in new zealand and also we did a lot of road trips like we never followed a tour you know most mm. singaporeans they follow tour the itinerary and all that yeah we always uh, just take our car rent the car and then we just drive down and then we just uh, look for motels along the way yeah. i think expectations were very different you know so my parents or my mom or my family have like very different kind of expectation like oh you're a man you need to take care of the family so you need to grow up this way you need to find a job stable yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, maybe yeah, 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 her family yeah, yeah. has got no expectations of me right not so much of no expectation but i think different expectation what you know kind? they don't want you to support them they, they, they are independent oh, oh, oh. Yeah. yeah thanks mom thanks they <laughs> <laughs> don't need to support them <laughs> we got a Xiaoyi camera for safety also uh, one thing so if in case there's any accident we we have this to dispute uh, but actually mainly is to record our journey and we have a dream catcher here so remind us to catch our dreams every day excellent yeah, excellent eh? excellent, eh? excellent eh? yeah see i told you <laughs> we just had it lying at home eh? <laughs> and then i thought hey, it makes a nice decoration eh? but that was a good one exactly yeah. <laughs> Welcome to my van. You um, can see we are going for the kampong style, Net, um, natural lah. That's what we want. Uh, so initially, when we were planning for the van's interior design, we fought like crazy because I'm so big on sustainability, and Martin is a little bit more concerned about convenience and easy to get. You know, the materials are easy to get. So yeah, in the end, I won lah. For the environment, like, you know, we didn't want to use like all the typical PVC stuff, the, the plastic stuff, and even for wood, you can see. So this is uh, what we have built. It's a storage and a bed for us, uh, made from recycled pallet that we found in uh, Malacca, and then we worked with a carpenter and we did this. This is really heavy. The pallet's really heavy, so we decided. Uh, oh, another sustainable thing would be rattan and bamboo. And also we thought hey, it'd be lighter for the van. We drew this out, the design, and then we had some factory in uh, Batu Bahat to, to make this for us. Yeah. Uh, where we keep all our cleaning stuff. So for the food, like for our pots and pans. So this is a detergent, also toxin-free <laughs> detergent. Yeah, and then uh, this is our brushes. So we keep them really close here so that we can just you know take our pots and pans and then take our stuff from here and wash so here's a more like uh, medical supplies and all this uh, lemongrass oil uh, uh, what's this or citronella for the mosquitoes and all yeah so this is our lots of uh, dry supplies uh, we are uh, vegetarians or, or I'm vegan and he's vegetarian we like cooking these are some of our Nuts la, tea la, and curry powder la, tea la, yeah, all sorts of nonsense inside here la. Okay, so this is it. And then, okay, actually this one really cool. What is cool about it is that, um, so we thought, you know, how can we store our dry supplies in a non-glass container? You can see the glass is really heavy, right? So we found these used to be uh, for tea, you know, so we got them online. Oh, so these are cocoa nips, <laughs> our favourite chocolate, yeah. It's like um, cacao seeds, sun dried. That's it. And then grind into smaller bit. You guys can go off grid for how many days, you think? Okay, I think we can go off grid for. Uh, so I think we can go off grid for what? Three days? Uh? Yeah, three days. I can days. go forever la, without the solar, but with the solar panels and then we oh we use it to power our fridge mini 30 liter fridge so that can last about three days i think and how much water do you carry for now we carry around 10 liter of water but uh, we are planning to get a little bit more so we are going to get another tank to to actually fill up 
for the water issue, you know, we were thinking about, you know, how can we get like clean water on the road? So after thinking for so long, we decided, oh, we can get this uh, portable uh, ceramic water filter. So what it does is that we just have to pour like tap water in or whatever water we can find. And then the ceramic filter will filter all that uh, chemicals la, and uh, all the bacteria and uh, whatever small, small pollutants. And then we get clean water. Sometimes we boil them, sometimes we don't before we drink. And uh, yeah, so I think that's a great way to stay out of uh, plastic. our Bose speakers. Martin cannot live without his music so we have to bring the speaker along. Two baskets, we've got onion in here. <laughs> we've got uh, potatoes, garlic, yeah all that. Okay and then in here is where we have all the pots and pans. So we use this um, gas powered stove and uh, you can see right actually you, uh, look at all our bowls and everything. It's coconut bowls so that um, on the road, right? If they they move or what, they won't break. So coconut bowl, and then this is uh, it doesn't really kaksa kaksa cup. Is it called? Uh, this is plywood, and then for like like chantik lah, chantik sik, and then they paste the bamboo mat on top. This entire thing cost us um nine hundred ringgit. So this and this one, everything is wood. You know, natural. Yeah, this is all our. Excellent. Right. So much shit here. This here, it's a 30 litre fridge from China. So this one's really good. This is like insulation. Right. Um, so even if you turn off the fridge, right, this can keep your fridge cool for quite a bit of time. It's like the solar panel is charged full, right? The battery is full. We can uh, power this for three days. For now, it's a fridge. Okay. For reason. Yeah. And then, um, we haven't really cooked much so inside here all the things that are not supposed to be here. Okay. <laughs> storage. Like noodles and all storage only, yeah. Excellent. Mm. And how much was your fridge? Uh I think about thousand two. LP cool is called. Yeah, LP cool. Okay. Right. When we had them custom made, right, this compartment below, this fridge is supposed to go in this way. So they asked us for the measurement of the fridge, yeah, we measure lah. And then after that we forgot they got handles. So now we cannot push them in. Not even fit perfectly. It'll be so beautiful. But yeah, now it's sticking out. Okay lah. Sometimes we got to live with the mistakes we've made, right? <laughs> this is our portable sink. We can wash our stuff outside. So we can fold also. And then we've got this uh, thing to open it, and then the water can drain. So this is that. And then we've got our shower also. How but much this, this cost, guys? Expensive, la. I think to me, yeah, it's expensive. Language, huh? Oh, sorry, sorry. Two hundred and forty ringgit. So we pump. Power, right? Okay, very good, very good. So yeah, we can wash our hair and wash our whatever. So uh, we take our showers outdoor. Uh, with a <laughs> sarong, <laughs> no la. Uh, uh, we take a shower outdoors la. So if we are parked by the beach, you know, parked somewhere quiet, not in the city la, when we're stealth parking. Uh, yeah, so we can just wear bikini la. What about your business? What business? Mm, the big business, the small business. Oh, oh, small business. Sometimes we go into the bush la. Big business, then we'll look for a public toilet. And if there's none, emergency. No, normally we... Okay lah, I, I, I've done it once lah, I got to say. We like... It was so urgent. Uh, and then I straight away went out to the beach area. We found a very quiet spot. I found a very quiet spot. Martin was sleeping by this booth. And then dig a hole and deposit. Make my deposit in there. And then bury it lah. Yeah. Wash my bags and <laughs> I guess we realised that it's more possible after we tried it on our own, on the camper van itself. Uh, realised that actually it's a lot more freedom. You don't have to worry about hotel bookings. Yeah, we used to rush from one booking to another booking. And then we are people who don't like to stick to one location. We like to like travel from places to places. So 
it doesn't make sense for us to move from hotels to hotels to hotels, right? Realize that, oh, camper van seems like a good choice. She likes to cook, mm. I like to eat, we make a good... Teamwork lah. Yeah, teamwork, oh, yeah. Right, so this is a straw, a straw mat and under that is a coconut um, fibre. So the coconut fibre is normally used for uh, coconut mattresses, uh, you know, coconut beds. It's very popular in Malaysia actually. So we went to the factory and got them wholesale. The entire roll, they sell an entire roll. We found this solution online uh, actually from this other van lifer. She is uh, living in Portugal. Or Germany, she uses cork for her insulation, so it's a natural uh, insulation. Uh, but so I asked her like, hey, you know what? Is cork good and everything? And then she said, yeah, it's good. But then for our region, we should go with coconut because they don't have it there. They only got cork. Here we got coconut. I was like, oh yeah, that's a great idea. So then we started sourcing around. And then we found one factory in Penang. And then we lined the entire everything, the doors, uh, the doors here and uh, up there and then in front all lined with uh, coconut fiber it, it cools down the van it really helps uh, how it works is that it has a lot of air spaces in coconut fiber so the air spaces help to keep out the, the heat or cold hopefully like, it will work when it's cold in Europe and, and it's good soundproofing the lights we are not going with the 12 volt ones they're all battery operated so this is from uh, IKEA yeah. So they line all the way and then we've got some fairy lights also that you know are really bright at night. Yeah. For ventilation we've got this fan. We've got two fans actually, it's really cool. So this is a stand fan. So the good thing about this is it can go really high and it lasts for seven hours. USB. So we can charge it when we are driving, you know, in the front. Or we use our solar. We've got another one. We have not really experienced really really hot days yet. We're very lucky. Uh, yeah, but if not, we'll open the windows with a mosquito net. And then we try to uh, use two fans on both sides uh, to get the hot air out and then the you know circulation. So we make this, uh, we bought this from Eon. DIY lah. So basically you cut the net and then you put the magnetic strip. And then whenever we are parked at places like the pantais, like the beach. Yep. And then we can open up the window. And so there's ventilation. This is where we keep our battery. Trojan solar AGM battery. So we have 270 AH which can last us for 12 volt fridge for about 4 days. So uh, we have a charge controller here. Uh, we don't have an inverter. Our solar 3 panels on top, 65 watt each. So it's 195 watt in total. Uh, yeah, at night we sleep like this, okay, and then uh, in the day we can also switch it into like two benches. Okay, so anyway, our bed, uh, yeah, it's like this. Uh, we've got a tatami mats here, three, okay, uh, custom made also. Uh, yeah, and then we sleep here, our blanket, and then this is a, I don't know. Lah. Normally we keep our, this is all our, our, our clothes. So one is mine, one is Martin's, and then we put it. So one yours, one Martin's, that's it? Yeah, that's all we have. That's all you have? Yeah, we, we decided that we are going to only bring like 22 20 pieces. Piece. 22 pieces, yeah. Of clothing. Why 22? Because it's my birthday. Here. Yep. So you can sit here like, like you know, it's a bench lah. Yeah. If we want to do anything here, we'll keep the mat our mattress into the, the cabinet. Now this is where we keep all our things. Our bags. Um, yeah, some new bags. Yeah, we've got our new bags here. Yeah, our friend just gave them to us because he has a bag shop and then he really liked um, our, our lifestyle. And then he gave us these uh, organic cotton bags. bags. Yeah. yeah. So this is your storage? Yeah, yeah. Store So we have some charcoal uh, because yeah, she likes to cook. Charcoal pot. Yeah, and we have a charcoal Old pot here. Yeah. So we have not used it yet, it's brand new. If you don't like your life, change it. Hey, that's... Yeah, I knew you were going to say that! <laughs> Damn! I stole, I stole his line! Okay lah, okay lah.
The money comes when you know you are happy. We also took a drastic plunge into this. We also don't know what's next, you know. It's a journey. This is a new job for us. Um, right. We are just enjoying this journey right now. Mm. So please follow us on uh, Instagram at MJ Road Tripping. So M Martin J and then Road Tripping. No G. So let's go!